politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Hey, a very good morning. Uh, thank you so much for keeping it the Buzz UG. And of course, as usual, my name is uh, Melas Milo, aka Fula. I'm right here to keep you posted on the biggest stories making headlines in the country. Well, before I take you to the sad news we have in the country, uh, let me first give you this entertainment story. Now, Rickman Manrick has revealed that his wedding with girlfriend Sheila Gashumba is happening very soon and it's gonna take place in Greece. And so if you don't have a passport, Rickman says, just take a chill pill because <laughs> this is not for you. Uh, this revelation comes a few days after reports made rounds on social media, indicating that their relationship was almost ending in tears. However, we are yet to confirm whether Sheila's father, that is a Franga Shumba, will attend the wedding. Otherwise, we are watching and all the details will be coming your way right here on The Buzz UG. No, 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 you are wrong. Because I am saying the priority... I'm saying the priority from financing point of view is... Now, going back to the first story, uh, the latest sad news we have in the country is uh, the passing of Keith Mohakanizi, who was the permanent secretary in uh, the office of uh, the Prime Minister. Uh, Mohakanizi died last evening in Italy, uh, that is in uh, Milan City, where he had been taken for treatment over the weekend. Uh, the exact cause of death is yet to be established. Uh, but of course, uh, Keith Mohakanizi uh, joins a long list of uh, a big government officials who have died in the outside countries. People like, uh, you know, uh, the former Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. Uh, people like uh, the former Governor Bank of Uganda, uh, that is Emmanuel Mutebele, and very many other people. And a big section of Ugandans on different social media platforms are saying we need to see this culture of, uh, you know, taking uh, big government officials to the outside countries. And, uh, and of course, uh, we work on our health sector right here in the country. My sympathies to Keith's family, relatives and friends and to government of Uganda for the loss of such an incredible man. Keith had no regrets to tell you what he believed in. He on most occasions would tell government that some of the policies they were promoting were not viable and were not even good. He advised against excessive borrowing and he said the country is going down the drain because of the borrowing, because of borrowing too much and we suffer from constipation. We don't use much of the money that we borrow and this has an, an impact on the taxpayer. We had him, we didn't take his advice. So I, we really have lost a man who was genuine at heart, loved his country and gave all his knowledge whether you believed it or not, he would put it there for you. Very few civil servants can stand up and say this is the correct thing. He would put it there and for him, you know, I, I got the privilege of attending meetings where he would sit as first as lead of the opposition and as the other time as a member, as a chairperson of an accountability committee, we sat in many meetings with Keith and Keith would advise but he would be ignored. The excessive expenditures that he talked about, the excessive corruption that was in, 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 in our regime, Keith would speak about it and he would say this country will go down because of corruption, we have allowed people to continue stealing government funds, we close the leakages, they again get find other ways of stealing. He was a systematic worker, wanted to follow the law to the beat, but he was working in a, in, in a regime that did not care. And so, Keith, fare thee well. This world is a, a stage where each one of us comes and you play your part and you live. Yeah, so basically, that is the latest uh, sad news we have in the country. And uh, we really pray for his soul to rest in peace. My name is Amelas Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.